welcome guys uh, my name is rudra prasad sen gupta and i want to start a python programming class live class which is uh, um, need for two days uh, but unfortunately i want to say my weak english is not good so if you misunderstand my voice please reply mm, uh, uh, here i create a python programming groups whatsapp groups and uh, invite send invitation and also a computer programming group exists in facebook which was created by me and a computer programming um, uh, youtube channel also exists but uh, here not uh, so many video are in english there are uh, uh, many member request me to uh speak in english but um, i have some problem in with spoken english so um, first of all i uh, assured that and i i said that from uh, first april i will start a python programming live course in english or hindi and course start at 10:30 pm but today is the first day so i start it earlier and here we can learn various topic in python as like deep learning data science um, uh, machine learning uh, and another, another application as like python with maya uh, something uh, or difference but uh, i also say um, uh, who join this course must have a basic knowledge on programming so uh, here uh, uh, i hope some member also join this class but uh, i notice that uh, few member only join this class but uh, if this status is continue then uh, i must close the course close the course and uh, now i only just start pycharm which is a uh, python uh, developing uh, environment and here Uh, i uh, discuss about um, some basic property of python as like uh, uh, as like list as like list tuples dictionary set there are the basic property in python x equal to 1 2 3 x is equal to 1 2 3 and here x is a list and also two poles x equal to 1 2 3 x equal to 5 6 7 x equal to a 4 5 8 x equal to a 10 b 20 c 20 something and uh, here four type of variable i define in a list that is first is tuple second is list third is set and fourth is dictionary if we run this program using a simple for loop for x in item uh, for item in x sorry item in x for item in x that's mean item belongs to x print print item and is type also type of item and id also id of item and length also length of item just i try to run this and here we can found uh, all are four variable four data type that is first is tuple second is list third is set and fourth is dictionary which have a uh, different memory allocation and different size all are have a three members so all size are three if i just uh, 
give a more item in a dictionary uh, in a set that means 10 then its size will be 4 and uh, I will also um, uh, it is a complex data type which is uh, used in python and basic data type basic data type means y equal to i something uh, 2.0 uh, 2 greater than 5 7 greater than uh, 7 uh, 0.0 by 8.0 India and just run this some error occur also no error occur so first is uh, x here is y so some error I know some error occur so I just remove this len property from item and run it again then first is float second is false that means boolean third is float fourth is string and uh, fifth is five that means integer all are data type in python and here we separate a line using print uh, print start into 40 40 times start separate line there are python data types and there are primitive data type used in python okay so uh, is this view clear to you all of you okay very good now i uh, think you are already familiar with loops if uh, array here uh, two pulse list set dictionary all are array and but the first position is also zero if we want to uh, display the uh, item of um, a as um, a, a two pulse that means uh, for for um, item just copy and paste uh, for item in x x uh, x 2 number x 2 number then here we can display the 2 number item details that is 5 is integer 4 8 is integer 10 is integer 8 is integer 5 is integer here and uh, also use this line to separate uh, my view and 8, 10, 5, 4, all are integer. In a in a dictionary, in a in a set, because it is a set, because it is a set, because it is a set, it is a set. And if I want to uh, display the item of dictionary, then I can uh, use uh, here um, that. Um, item of set that means this and item of set item of set three so so here also three and here we can get all the value a b c three value and here also we can separate uh, the, the two things uh, using uh, two variables that means key and value key and value and uh, here uh, i can also use key and value that means uh, just key and value that means k and v So uh, here we can display all things uh, here in 3, A10, B20, C something. But uh, here uh, uh, not fulfill my property X3 in uh, item 3, uh, not fulfill uh, dot dot items, only items then only items items with his property item with his 
वैल्यू और प्रॉपर्टी ओके इज दिस क्लियर इज दिस क्लियर आई रिपीट फर्दर माय इंग्लिश इज नॉट प्रॉपर एंड इज नॉट ए गुड बट आई जस्ट वांट टू फैमिलियर विथ यू इन पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो आई यूज ए कम्युनिकेशन लैंग्वेज एज ए इंग्लिश because uh, many other uh, peoples uh, do not know bengali or hindi so they watch this video try but few many people join so i just want to say uh, if i define a function define a function that means so uh, so dictionary so dictionary i define a function so dictionary where uh, dictionary also specifies dictionary also specified that mean uh, x x x and uh, here uh, dictionary specified x x x so i just display dictionary and uh, x x x uh, so uh, here i just call this function uh, here just uh, call this function so uh, nothing so uh, so declare this function uh, at the top of level top of level now i call this function so dictionary and x3 so same value will provide so it is a use of function and uh, i just want to uh, do many things with function so today's my topic is uh, function okay today my topic is function okay so uh, first i just copy this code and paste in uh, notepad plus plus for uh, further view for further view just paste it and i just do another type of thing okay i just want to uh, do something that is uh, two variable where x and y and they return the sum of x and y sum of x and y and it is uh, sum or plus plus operator so if i write this type of code plus operator ram comma ali and also this type of code uh 2.3 comma 7.3 and run it so it slow uh, nothing why nothing because it return and return mal also be printed return also be printed or stored in a different variable so just i print it and uh, here ramali and 9.6 p r i n t okay are you understanding uh, okay deepak thank you so um, if i want to do a function within function that's mean uh, if i check it a function define check check variable is is numeric new is numeric or um, check it is 
return r e t u r n not return just check c h e c k check okay and after check it return x plus y and i want to check here the sum of number sum of number is uh, greater than 10 so i here mention if v greater than equal to 10 then return uh, return no one return just print print uh, gt 10 gt equal to 10 greater than equal to 10 or else or else it print less than 10 ok so first we check it then return it so if I just comment it and pass this argument and run this so it say it less than 10 and it return value also that means if I gave a 12 it get greater than equal to 10 and with a function within function that means I call a function from a function ok and uh, if uh, it uh, get a less than 10 then it uh, uh, return something and that is return something that means if it less than 10 then uh, it multiply by 10 I want to say v is equal to v into 10 return v and here v is returning here and which also returning here that is mean here uh, it not greater than uh, less than 10 not less than 10 so not multiply and I want to say if uh, not greater than that is not multiply it just addition 10 ok. So here 2 point uh, simple value just I give uh, 12 and 7 that is mean uh, uh, 19 but here we get 29 and if we gave uh, 1 and 5 it is gave 60 ok are you understanding uh, Deepak that means return within within return ok function function ka use so in this way we can do better thing so why we use return it is a it is a common question arrive in our mind just i uh, elaborate it just i delete it and delete it also uh, sorry control z control z uh, okay control z Okay, control A, control C, control N, control V. So, why I we use return? I define a function S and within S we declare two variables P and Q. If we return P plus Q, what happened? Just notice print uh, if I want to print something like that 2 plus 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 5 55 4 ok how we do it using some function or it uh, it uh, it product something uh, product 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 P product 
product. So uh, I just uh, use P two comma P three comma P six comma P sorry P two comma six comma uh, P nine comma fifty four एक वन बैकेट वन बैकेट टू बैकेट थ्री बैकेट फोर बैकेट फाइव बैकेट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव नाउ इट प्रोडक्ट ऑल ऑफ नंबर दैट्स मीन हेयर इफ वी गिट सिंपल थिंग दैट्स मीन वन इंटू टू दैट मीन टू इंटू थ्री सिक्स इंटू जस्ट आई पुट इट इन ए Uh, difference variable that means i just put it in a uh, a comma b comma c comma d comma e equal to uh, 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 and here a b c d So here is the result. One into two is equal to two. Two into three is equal to six. Four into five is equal to twenty. Six into twenty is equal to one twenty. Okay. So using using this function, we can and, and return statement. We can evaluate multiple time, multiple time call it, multiple time uses. So we use return. If we use voice statement or some not return, then it is not possible in this way. Okay. So uh, it is uh, all about function and all about its parameter. And now I just want to say something uh, more about function. I just want to say. Uh, here we copy the value and uh, paste here so if i put nothing that's mean that's mean it is copy and paste just put nothing that's mean p is equal to 10 and q is equal to 5 and if i uh, we print nothing print p Nothing given, no argument given. That's mean hundred. That uh, is sorry, ten uh, into five is equal to fifty. So it is the default argument. It is the default argument. It is default argument. Okay, default argument. If I uh, if we if we if we just give a uh, six, that mean sixty. Uh, that mean sixty. Uh, five into six into five is equal to thirty. Six into five is equal to Thirty. Okay, so just is copy and paste here, and give here six and paste here also and give here six comma three. So here we get all output together. Okay. So it is default argument. That means if we give nothing, it also calculate the value as a default. Okay. Now, uh, if I not give something, that means we also uh, enter a value here, uh, where uh, also define a function, also define a function uh, p p, where uh, p p p value not set. That means p value is mandatory. That means if we set or print. Print P P, so one value must be given. Here also we are declare integer Q equal to five, but P is must given. If we give nothing, the error so. And if we give here twenty, that means five into twenty equal to hundred, equal to hundred. 
and separate it using simple uh, command that is print print uh, ali 10 time so ali 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 10 time and it is separated okay uh, uh, understanding or i start from be beginning it is understandable or i start from beginning hello deepak okay okay so um, here we discuss about different thing but if we if we do something here that is uh, copy and paste it is five and it is nothing it is not possible it is get error it is get error that means it is inside from the right to left that means it is inside from the right to left so you can non default parameter follow default parameter that means it is right to left okay so it is not possible it generate error and here also i want to say more about function i define a function whose name is me and star a what is the meaning of star a and want to print a and its type and its length a its type and its length no syntax error now i want to put the right argument so i just put me what happened that's it is two false and zero it is two false class two false zero and if i gave 100 that means it is 100 100 two false and it is length is one if i give 100 two three six that means four length is length four and it is also add so multiple type of parameter should be passed through a single argument okay here we can elaborate it also uh, just watch if i put a comma b comma c star comma d equal to uh, a list 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 d and also e now if i want to print this value a b c d e a b c d e so here we can notice a is 10 first and first b is 20 but c is rest of something which is d is last two now value and d is rest of something that means here it declared rest of something okay rest of something now here we if we put two argument that means uh, just I comment it with multi line comment uh, using multi line comment I just comment it and want to do something
u star a comma b and print a and print a and print b type a type b len a not len a just omit it okay so here if we call u then what happened first argument is 100 and the second uh, not call uh, you call u first argument a is 100 uh, to all are first argument all are first argument b is nothing and there are four four just give a output okay so uh, just i change it to this type what happened first is 100 but next uh, all are stored to b so oh, i also mention as a default parameter here it also we use as a left to right not right to left if we use right to left right to left nothing happened and if we use uh, okay it is gone so something happened so uh, for the connection problem 40 minute class is over and here is my uh, today class i just post it in youtube if anyone wish to watch he can watch it thank you good night